We tried this restaurant in Fairview Heights. Just me and my wife while my brother was at work. I had no idea how to pronounce it, so that's what Google is for. All I know is, was nothing to brag about. My wife also agreed that wasn't that great either. It wasn't that the food was bad. It just wasn't that great. You know, it's just me. It was all right. I doubt we'd go back. They had a lot of it. They had a lot of food. It was a, a you could have. It was quite a variety, but they did not have my favorite Asian dish. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Mongolian beef. They did not have Mongolian beef. You know, but this is a Japanese place. You know, anytime I see something with this kind of word, I'm such a redneck. I think Chinese, Japanese, like Hank Hill said, are you Gi Chinese or Japanese? And I think the same thing. Maybe Mongolian beef is a different type of food that you wouldn't expect to find in a place like this. But I'm so ignorant, I wouldn't know that. Anyway, I doubt we'll go back. This is what you get when you tell your foreign sister-in-law that you want a cup of coffee. I don't know what this is. Coffee, whipped cream, caramel, right? Mm -hmm. But it's going to be good. Hazelnut coffee, mate. That's the secret ingredient makes it good right there. Is this the way they make them in the Philippines? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Filipino coffee? I guess. <laughs> Man, that's good. Hey, how come you didn't put all that junk in yours? Nah, it's for you. Don't fill up! What? <laughs> what did you say? I can't hear you. I don't understand that kind of language. <laughs> it's all over with now. <laughs> what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Did you say I was cute? Is that Dirty what you up! <laughs> My burger is post, was supposed to have been sprinkled with brown sugar, rubbed in brown sugar, something. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell one lick of brown sugar. But it was a very good burger. The fries were just excellent. Oh, man, they were so good. Service was horrible. Uh, fries were great. Burger was good. It wasn't spectacular, but it was good. We all agreed it was, it was about the same. Nothing spectacular, but very good. What are you doing? <laughs> What's up? Pam's never eaten at one of these. It's gonna be good. Bottomless root beer float. Is it good? Five biggins. How can you get ice cream in yours? I'm already a disgusting fat body. <laughs> 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 you poor thing. I know. <laughs> and you're still with him. An estimated 50 minutes or 55 minutes after sitting down, we get our food. There's Mark's. He got the teriyaki burger. Mm, I got something with barbecue sauce and bacon and oh, and brown sugar. My burger has brown sugar on it. There's Pam's and Patrick Bridget. Patricia Bridget. What are you eating so healthy for? Freddy's was possibly the best fast food burger I've ever had. I've never eaten there. I've heard it's good, and it oh my gosh, it was so good. It was very salty, which I like a uh, salty taste. So I can see how others may not agree with me. But man, it was good. The fries were just fries. Nothing special, nothing bad. Uh, they were good. My wife really liked the french fries. Neither one of us have ever been to a Freddy's. Heard it's good though. Mm. Oh, <laughs> he goes glare. <laughs> that, candy. that was really, really good. Pam says better than Red Robin last night, right? Yes. 
So do Mark. <coughs> so do I. That was an excellent, excellent burger. Freddy's really is good. <sighs> I'm sure I'm full. The French fries were just decent. I agree. But that's all right. The, is all about the, the burger, burger was awesome. I like the fries. And the sweet tea was horrible. I poured it out and got root beer. Of course, what do you expect from a company that was founded in the north? The Yankees can't make sweet tea. Yeah, I do. They don't have a clue about how to make sweet tea. Anytime we visit the St. Louis area, we must go to Lot of Water Creek. It's my wife's favorite restaurant. And one of my favorites too. Man, the place is, has such good food. It's the only one they do not franchise. But lately, they've gotten trouble with the IRS. I thought it might be a good opportunity to bail them out if they did franchise, but I guess they had different ideas. Look at this headline. A lot of Water Creek owners plead guilty to tax fraud. What they were doing was what I'm sure a lot of business owners do. Uh, not a lot, but I'm sure some do. They People who paid with cash, they were sticking that cash in their pockets. The two brothers were, so they weren't stealing from anybody. It was their own place, but they were stealing from the IRS. Those money-grubbing bastards. But anyway, they uh, stuck the money in their pockets, and they would delete the sales from the computer. I don't know how they got caught, but I was told that uh, an employee ratted them out. I don't know. But anyway, it says here in the article, Rodney Archer and Kenneth Archer each face a total maximum sentence of five years in federal prison, a $250,000 fine, and up to three years supervised release, plus mandatory restitution. Now, how are they going to determine how much they had to uh, pay back? They probably just went in there and made a wild guess. You know, the IRS did. The corporation faces a maximum sentence of a fine of $500,000. They say, now, I had heard that each brother was fined $250,000 each and the rest on a million. The million part must not be right because it says here the maximum is half a million bucks. It also says the corporation uh, began on February 1st, 1996 as Lot of Water Creek Incorporated, registered as a foreign corporation. I had no idea it was a foreign corporation. It won't keep me from eating there. It just... Uh, I, I'm just fair as American owned. Well, they sure have good food, though. It don't bother me they try to cheat the IRS. Don't bother me one bit. But that's not all. They also cheated Illinois out of sales tax. And I bet the IRS be coming after them for not disclosing income either. Because if you steal money, I think you still have to report it on the IRS and pay taxes on it. You know, and uh, yeah, I, I would think that. Uh, the IRS would also be able to get them on uh, tax evasion personally, but I don't know. I'm not a tax attorney. We're going to Pam's favorite restaurant, Lotta Water Creek, and not Bridget's favorite. <laughs> but she likes it, don't you? She likes the bread. Yeah, it's okay. Blues, blues, blues. Going to the blues game tonight. And blues. We got two new pullovers at Sam's. Twelve dollars a piece. Pretty good deal. A lot of Water Creek. The only one. Their wait staff even advertises on their t-shirts. This is not a franchise joint. Yeah, we got handicap parkings. You got this cripple with you. He's not used to having a crippled person with him. Yeah, by those old folks right there. Yep, don't run over them though. I'll try my best. That's gonna be Take you in about. You should try and meet me halfway. That's gonna be you in about five more years. <laughs> if Bridget don't put you in a home, <laughs> but then she'll take care of you since she works in one of those homes. <laughs> she'll, she'll put him in one she don't work at. Yeah. yeah up the back. Howdy. In the bathroom. No, I didn't. <laughs> Y'all order yet? We just placed our order for the tea. We you order your drink for you. This place is busy if you go on weekends, isn't it? Or at night. I come here on Sunday, you'll be like two or three hours. Yeah. Look at that bread. 
I love their butter here, brown sugar butter. Mm -mm. Bridget don't like the bread, does she? No. <laughs> yeah, she does. Southern sweet tea. Boy, it tastes sweet. That's good. Here's the food. Pam ordered 10 can nachos. Look at that. It's literally a tin can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so thick. Huge. <laughs> it just filled up. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, you're I didn't know you were going to do oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing's huge. Uh -huh. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> you want one? Oh, right here. Look at all that food. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's crazy. How you going to eat all that? I won't. You like to come in here? Oh, yeah, I you want to try some? Sorry, yeah. No, do it. Try it. I want to try this one. Yeah, we'll eat them all. Y'all know that. There's salsa. You want to dip it? I ain't getting anything on mine, but just chip. I got cheated. Mm. Uh -huh. That's pretty awesome. You want to dip it? Salsa? Good? It's too good to dip. It's good. Is it good? Yeah, get it some Good? Let's see. That. I thought you were going to dig into the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the rest of it. Right here. Thank you. What is that, chicken? Seafood basket. Looks good. Right here. Ooh, look at that meatloaf. Mm -mm. Thank you, ma'am. Baked beans, meatloaf. Mashed potatoes, all for like nine bucks. That looks good. What is that, Bridget? Uh, pork chop. Oh, it looks like chicken fried chicken. Pork chop. Mm, it's gonna be good. Hey, Mark. Yeah. You know those people over there? <laughs> Are you full? Sick. Bridget, you getting up to eat? So full. So full. Couldn't eat it. Couldn't eat it. Oh yeah yeah. Fifty-two dollars for four tip. That's not bad for. Um, all the food we got. There's the address if you want to come here. <sighs> there it is. Rock and brews. Man, I was wanting to eat here. I am a big Kiss fan. Have been since the um, uh, 1976, I think it was, that Destroyer came out. 1976 or 1977. Uh, that's the first time I heard their music. Loved it. But anyway, so I wanted to eat there. It's owned by Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons and two other people who I don't know who they are. But it's somewhere around the neighborhood, 20 locations nationwide. I was expecting a hard rock cafe atmosphere. And I'm glad the music wasn't very loud. I was expecting loud music. I don't like that. I'm old now. So um, if, it's, if it's too loud, you're too old, is what Kiss has always said. Well, I'm too old. So anyway, the music was turned down, which I liked, and uh, it didn't have near as much memorabilia as I would have expected, but it was enough. It, it looked nice. As a matter of fact, I kind of liked the clean look. You know, if you put too much memorabilia in there, it just looks kind of cluttered. Uh, so I kind of liked it. And the food was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. You know, but it was a little expensive. For the four of us, it was 90 bucks. And I was thinking, after he left, how could it have been that high? But uh, we did get this giant $10 pretzel, and each of our meals were probably $12 a piece. That's $48, pretzel, $10, $58. Four drinks at about $3 a piece is uh, 70 Add tax to that, about $77. And uh, then tip. Oh, man, that just seems outrageous for four people. Jeez. You know, so, uh, but anywhere we would have gone to sit down would have been uh, 45 to 65, maybe 70, but still just seemed kind of high. But the food was good. Now, my sandwich was dry. 
the, you know, the steak sandwich was dry, but I had uh, something left off. I don't remember what now, but that would have added some uh, liquid to it, uh, almost like a mustard would. And so that might have been my own fault. But the food was good. And it, it was it was something to do. One, I'm glad I did it one time. It was enjoyable. And you could play Kiss Pinball for free, but not the classic pinball machine, the new one. Man, I was hoping it had been the classic one. Rock and Brews. Restaurant owned by Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons of Kiss. That's where we're going. It's owned by a couple of other goomers too. They took in as business partners. Red Lobster, one of my least favorite restaurants in the whole world. I like Red Lobster. Yep. Lowe's awesome. Rock and Brews. Don't forget handicap parking. Yep. You never forgot, didn't you? Yeah. Mark's not used to having a cripple in the car with him. I used to park right around by here or something. Okay. Right and four brews. Oh. Park right here. This one right here to the right. This last one. Yeah. You have the camera? I'm gonna take a picture right here. Yeah, I don't either. Probably. Oh. This is first time being here, it's been like this. Make sure I come as crowded. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. 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 Hey.